how are you guys doing selling in online okay so today we are talking about how to increase your sales in Lazada okay why certain sellers they sell so much and why we are not selling you know our things and uh, our competitors are selling so much okay so today I'm going to share with you one of the secrets Okay, one of the secret that they your competitors are using to increase their sales in Lazada. Okay, so before I proceed, let me introduce myself. I am Kong and I am a certified Lazada trainer and I help new entrepreneurs make more money online. So remember to subscribe to my channel and let's proceed. Okay, first before we do this, let's go to Lazada, uh, the buyer page, and then you just type in something. Okay, let's say pants. Okay, okay. So let's see how what are they secret are they doing to increase their sales in Lazada to make people buy more. Okay, the first one that comes out is this one. Okay, okay. So when you click, uh, you click. Okay, okay. First. You see, they have so many voucher, okay, and then they got this flexi combo going on that is buy two get three percent five percent something like that. Can you see this? So and then they have this, this very very important. F enjoy free shipping promotion with minimum spend of ninety nine. So if you, as a buyer, you see, wow, free shipping. You, I want to buy from this seller compared to the person who sell the same thing but they need to pay for shipping most people they will choose the one that don't need to pay for shipping so uh, if your margins can permit you I would strongly suggest that you set a free shipping in your store but then you think oh free shipping then oh then I don't earn anything lah. no you can decide on the amount that you want to put okay let's say that most of your customers only buy 50 ringgit okay most of uh, average average you will know that okay always buy 50 ringgit 60 ringgit never achieve 70 80 90 also never okay but now in order for you to increase your basket size means uh, get the same customer buying more okay like you know when you go McDonald's Right. When you go McDonald's, like when you buy the set, okay, but actually you can buy one burger, ma, but why they want to make this set to make you buy more? Okay, they make like fries, got wow, got coke, and then sometimes they ask you to buy the ice cream, you know, it's just to ask you to pay more so that you can uh they get more sales from you. It's the same, okay, in your store. So if you get 50, 60 ringgit, but now okay, I want maybe twenty percent more. Okay, or maybe ten percent more. So you you set your own. Okay, for example, fifty ringgit. Now I want to make my customer buy eighty ringgit. So I will set eighty ringgit free shipping. Okay, eighty ringgit free shipping. So how to do that? Okay, let's go back to the seller center. Okay, go log into your seller center. Okay, and you see this promotions. You click promotions, and got campaign got flexi combo just now the two percent three percent that one seller voucher and free shipping okay today we are doing uh, this video on free shipping okay if you want me to do all the other campaign flexi combo seller voucher please drop me in the comments below okay so let's click free shipping okay click ah uh. okay so before I proceed okay uh, please subscribe to this channel of mine that I help uh, new sellers to grow their sales in Lazada and online and making more money every single day and every single year so please give me a like in this video and please subscribe please subscribe to my channel so that you can improve your sales and make more money online okay so then you see seller free shipping just now remember promotions then we press free shipping right so seller free shipping you can filter by those that are ongoing okay expired orders no need to see lah because already you can set the date okay let's say okay i want only free shipping only in january february i don't want to do okay uh you can set okay so how okay so you see i have a free shipping 
So uh, you see I have a free shipping uh, promotion going on here. I set as 120 ringgit because most so I want people to buy 120 ringgit and above. Okay, and then my time is long term means I don't set a date. Okay, I don't set a date. So first, how to make this free shipping promotion? First, you go and create new promotion. Okay, and then you see give it a name. Okay, maybe you want to put uh, January. Okay. Depends on you, lah. Jen, what you want to put up to you, okay? Okay, you want to put long term means that like for me, I don't set a date, okay? Means forever, lah. Until I uh, don't don't think forever. You can stop it anytime actually, but uh, I lazy to set a date, lah. Because every time I want to activate, very lazy. Or you can set a specific period, okay? Specific period. I uh, want I put January, uh, one month only. Uh, up to you okay but for me i put a uh, long term because i lazy to setting so many things okay and then the budget okay this one i uh, remember lazada will deduct from your account the money that you get from the customers okay so this the shipping uh, you have to bear uh, not the customer so if you give free shipping like above 120 or above 500 up to you like for example you sell handphone one handful also 500 you don't set free shipping 50 okay you set free shipping maybe uh 800 or 1000 up to you so it depends on what you sell okay so um okay so the budget you can put limited budget okay for example you say okay i'm going to put 100 ringgit and if it reach 100 the free shipping will stop so it's really up to you okay but if you got the budget you put unlimited okay okay then you got can use these three criteria one is item quantity which is x means for example buy three item free shipping this only i would strongly advise you you only use this if your item is very expensive huh? okay what for example if you got like a uh, two ringgit item and then 100 ringgit item and 500 ringgit item right if i'm customer right if i say oh buy two so i buy the cheapest one uh, two ringgit then i get free shipping but then lazada after they charge you five ringgit or six ringgit are you you rugi already okay then you don't do that if your your items are very uh, very uh, like uh, very low very high you know don't do that okay okay this is the best one is another one is no minimum spend so uh, they spend 0 0.05 uh, your item for example you sell one toothpick 10 cent also to get free shipping you also will lose money so don't do that okay unless all your items in the store is like super super expensive 1000 for 500 ringgit above okay you think Ayo, I untung so much, I give a bit to my customer lah, you know, up to you, okay? But the most, most business people, they would go for order value, which is X, okay? Let's say, okay, let's say, okay, just now I give example, your customer always buy 50, 60, 50, 60, never buy more one, so you want them to buy more, okay? So the formula, some people, they use 20%, okay, 20%, let's say you want 20%, ah. okay, 50 ringgit, okay 50 ringgit 20 percent more is 60 okay so you can set 60 but then they say hi hey, you're 60 i don't want i want more okay never mind 50 ringgit let's say you want uh, one and a half times more okay 75 okay if one and a half times point means 50 times 1.5 is 75 okay i want to set 80 ringgit free shipping okay this is a formula for your own self uh, up to you once okay 80 okay if the order reaches 80 you can choose full subsidy is here full means you will pay 100% for the customer okay you okay bear in mind now uh, okay bear in mind now uh, lazada charge you is by the cm of the item volumetric weight now uh, okay let's say your item is like this so giant this big ah uh, okay this big but then your item you only sell for three ringgit okay but your shipping lazada charge you 15 ringgit okay so you you if you put full subsidy okay it means uh, every item the customer buy that thing you have to pay 15 ringgit to lazada okay bear in mind uh, this is my tips for you uh. so i would strongly suggest that uh you if you sell uh your things you 
put your value properly. So you want to do full subsidy, means you, you sponsor the customer all, or you to do partial. Okay, let's say, okay, let's say just now, my item just now we calculate around 80 ringgit. Okay, so each order, maybe you subsidize. Okay, I say I don't want, I want 50-50 with the customer. And Lazada normally will charge you the small package, they will charge you around 5 ringgit or 5 ringgit 50 cents. Okay, then you, you split lah. So then, okay, I want half half lah. So maybe I'll sponsor two fifty. Then our customer will pay the rest. Up to you, okay? Or you want? Oh, okay. Now my I I will want to pay five fifty, uh, all by myself because I want to give the customer. So it's up to you, okay? Let's say now you choose full subsidy, and your order you say just now we say eighty mah. This example lah, okay? Then you scroll down lah. Shipping fee subsidy applies to, okay? You want to do the whole shop every single item or you want specific product ha huh. this is the this is the catch here okay this is how you can play a bit cheat lah huh? so not play cheat lah play smart okay. if you don't want your whole shop if your whole shop for example got very very cheap item two ringgit item and then also got 500 ringgit item got 50 ringgit item, 80 item so but then you say ayo I, do, I only want to do certain product. Like I don't want to lose out a lot of money. Okay, then you choose specific product. Okay, so then after you press the submit button down there, then only you put in one by one the items that you want to choose for free shipping. Okay, get it? Huh? Okay, so now we, okay, for example, now we just choose entire shop. Easy. Entire shop is for people who have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of products. Like more than... 200 or 100 up depends lah some people got 5000 items right then they one by one want to put specific product is very very troublesome for certain people if you lazy just put entire shop okay Deval delivery option okay standard express delivered by seller p2p okay so just choose standard okay because express is normally is those uh like grab and all those and expensive uh, so you don't click that still standard normally is around lazada will charge you around five ringgit to six ringgit for small packages uh. okay then we come to this very 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 important this a lot of people they very miss out uh. y'all please listen important okay this one most people don't teach you regions so normally you will click all okay don't click all don't ever click all click specific why okay if you click all in include Sabah Sarawak if you are from Semenanjung seller okay you want to uh, one small item to send to Sabah okay it's nine ringgit ten ringgit the Lazada will charge you okay in the bigger things 15 25 35 45 if you sell the item only 10 ringgit and lazada charge you 9 ringgit to 15 ringgit you will lose a lot of money okay please then what you do is you x the sabah x the sarawak and left these two okay west malaysia clang valley and west malaysia non clang valley Okay, Klang Valley means Selangor and Kuala Lumpur. Okay, so this one, these two, the rates is actually quite similar. Not much difference, only uh, maybe 50 cents difference. So you click specific regions and you press submit. Okay, so once you press submit, okay, now I'm not going to press like, okay, once you press submit, it will bring you back to just now that page. Okay, just now you saw that my, my free shipping. Okay, let's see ongoing eh? so you see it will bring you back to this ongoing page that is here already okay so you can see sometimes okay if you don't want to see this you want to see like all uh, for example you don't remember what you said so some you see are already uh, suspended or expired means finished already you can when we press suspended means we deactivate it ourselves means before it ended we deactivate we don't want okay so don't worry about pressing the wrong thing okay don't worry about pressing the wrong thing because you can deactivate it anytime you want okay so and then if you want to check for example you are this vera moda shop okay that uh, vera moda shop but after that you go in here and then you refresh your page 
okay make sure the time you refresh your page and then you check it will here enjoy free shipping you can see already you can check in your mobile also okay so how to see this free shipping in your mobile okay you can see yeah okay you just anything lah. you search right simply just now the this one can you see this green sticker green sticker here yeah the green sticker it will say free okay free so uh people will see the sticker they or uh, they see the sticker they're very happy then they will more want to buy from you so on if you go back to the main screen you can actually sometimes you can put you can filter by free shipping okay and then all the free you see this free sticker uh will all will come up so if you are a customer you need to think from customer point of view if you am a customer if the seller same pants okay about the same one and same price if one person offer free shipping the other one don't offer free shipping which one will you buy from okay and most of the time for customer that like me you know are you like i like to shopping and then want to get the best deal so i'll maybe i'll get one is that one item i'll get two items or three items from your shop so and then it won't be exactly 80 ringgit 0.001 so sometimes maybe the one pants is 50 so if i buy two pants it's 100 ringgit already to uh, just to get the free shipping so they think that they're saving more but at, at the same time you think mm, I, I lose out five ringgit shipping or five ringgit 50 cent shipping but i gain the customer 100 ringgit so you need to think of it that way you change your mindset sometimes you need to throw out the budget to for the free shipping so they can get more customer and more sales so uh enjoy uh selling in lazada okay if you uh, have any comments or any queries, you can put in the comment below. Okay, remember to subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'm Kong. And uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll give you uh, all the tips and uh, how to be successful in selling online.